bad. They're really bad. bad. I had it bad. Right? Yeah, what you're definitely talking about. Right in that area. It's so good. Good morning, Ring Council High School Wars with the Great Bay Tiger Cup. I'm Bryce Whitney. And I'm David McGinnity. And this is Tiger Talks. is David McGinnity and this is David Talks. I asked you to come by with a question and by golly you guys never fail me. Dear David, I often find myself in between a very serious political argument with my immediate family. How do I avoid these arguments and return to my peaceful meal? I tell you, you couldn't have come to a better person for this question because I have created various tactics to avoid these arguments. Tactic number one, the worm. Now, this tactic is very simple and it demands a lot of attention. That, my friends, is all you have to do. Family, the family will stop what they're doing and immediately talk about the corpse that just fell to the floor. Tactic number two, the distraction argument. This is another argument that I use whenever I do not want to be involved in a more serious argument. I usually say something like, are those my shoes? Even though they're obviously not my shoes, they're probably ten sizes smaller. But it doesn't matter, because it is completely different than the original argument. Finally, tactic number three. This tactic is where you basically just go, ah! until everybody shuts up and starts eating their dinner. Thank you very much. This has been David Tuggs. Hi, I'm Bryce Winnie and welcome to Interview. Today we're going to be interviewing, interviewing Mr. Meyer. Mr. Meyer, I have a couple questions for you here. You can choose to answer them if you don't want to. It's your choice. All right, so here we go. Number one, why such a tough guy? Why such a tough guy? I think I'm kind of a warm and fuzzy and happy-go-lucky type of guy, so I don't know what that question means. Me too. I think, I do, I really I think you're a loving guy. I do too. From football team and yeah. practice, I, I see the love. Easy to get along with. Yeah. Who's your favorite senior? Always seniors are favorites. Are you sure about that? Positive. Even Nick? Even Nick. Wow. Even Nick. Why do you hate balloons? That goes back a long way. When you have little kids that play with balloons and they, yeah. they make the sounds, it's, to me it's like little putting little your fingernails on a scratch, on a, a chalkboard. Understandable. Understandable. How about your angriest moment in the classroom? I don't have any angry moments. Never. All the students are outstanding. Um, they're here to learn. They're enthusiastic, and never a sad day or a dull moment. I mean, I've just heard the rumors about being able to hear you. What do we room. say? What do we say about rumors? What do we say about rumors? If you didn't hear it from me, it's not true. true. If you didn't hear it from me, it's not true. Well, you heard it here on the interview, and we'll see you next week. Also, before we go, who would be the next teacher we interview? Um, go with Coach Rector. You heard it here. See you next week. All right. Today, we've learned that the best way to avoid a family argument is just not to partake in it. We also learned that coach and teacher, Mike Meyer, he's really a nice guy. He's not all that angry. He's a family man, and he's really cuddly, like a big teddy bear. And he also hates balloons, though. I'm David McGinnity. I'm Russ Whitney. And this is Tiger Talks. <laughs>